In this video, we are going to calculate normality, molarity and molality of a solution. Okay. So, in general, we are expressing the concentration of a solution. Okay. The concentration of a solution in terms of normality, molarity and molality. So, first let us see what is solution. Okay. What is solution? So, if you dissolve salt in water, you will get the salt solution. Okay. So, here salt is known as solute and water is known as solvent. Okay. So, this is your solution. Okay. So, your solution contains solute in solvent. Okay. So, solute plus solvent is equal to solution. So, your solute may be in the form of solid or it may be in the form of liquid. So, solution is nothing but your solute plus solvent. Next, let us see the definition and formulas for normality, molarity and molality. Okay, first what is normality? Normality is denoted by the symbol N. Then it is defined as the number of gram equivalent of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution. Okay, 1 liter of solution. So, N is equal to that is normality is equal to gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. Okay, then in this formula gram equivalent of solute. Okay, gram equivalent of solute is calculated by molecular weight divided by equivalent weight okay gram equivalent of solute is equal to molecular weight divided by equivalent weight okay so this equivalent weight can be calculated by molecular weight divided by valence okay so equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by valence okay so to calculate the normality you have to follow three steps okay so, first step you have to calculate the equivalent weight of the solute. Okay. And the second step you have to calculate the gram equivalence of solute. And third step only you can calculate normality by substituting the gram equivalent of solute and volume of solution in liter. Okay. If you follow these three steps, it is very easy to calculate the normality of the solution. So, next is molarity. So, it is denoted by capital M. Okay. Then molarity is defined as the number of gram moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter of solution. So, capital M is equal to gram moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. The next one is molality. So, it is denoted by small m. Okay. Molality is defined as the number of gram moles of solute dissolved in 1 kilogram of solvent. Molality is equal to gram moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg. Okay. Gram moles of solute is equal to weight in grams of solute divided by molecular weight of solute. Okay. So, to calculate molarity and molality, how to follow two steps. Okay. So, the first step you have to calculate gram moles of solute. Then you just substitute in your equation. Okay. So, for molarity, gram moles of div solute divided by mass of solvent in kg. And for molarity, gram moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. Okay. So, this is your second step. Okay. Next, let us see the problems. The first problem 98 grams of sulfuric acid H2SO4 are dissolved in water to prepare 1 liter of solution. Find normality and molarity of the solution. This problem they are dissolving 98 grams of sulfuric acid. Okay, 98 grams of sulfuric acid in water. Okay. So, and preparing 1 liter of solution. Okay. So, here your H2SO4 is solute and water is your solvent. This is your H2SO4 solution. Okay. So, find normality and molarity of the solution. So, first we will calculate the normality of the 
solution. So first step write the formulas used to calculate the normality. So as I already explained first we have to calculate the equivalent weight of the solute. Okay this is your first step. So equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by valence. Okay. So in the previous videos I already explained how to calculate molecular weight and how to calculate valence. Okay. You just refer the videos. Okay. So we know that molecular weight of H2SO4 98. So to calculate molecular weight first you write all the atoms present in the molecule then you just multiply the number of atoms with atomic weight and if you sum up all the atomic weights you will get the molecular weight then valence so valence so H2SO4 dissociates into 2 H plus plus SO4 2 minus so it give 2 H plus ions so valence is 2 ok so just substitute in this formula so equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by valence so your molecular weight of H2SO4 is 98 then the valence is so equivalent weight is equal to 49 okay then you just substitute in the second formula that is gram equivalent of solute so gram equivalent of solute is nothing but molecular weight divided by equivalent weight so molecular weight of your solute H2SO4 is 98 divided by equivalent weight is 49 so 98 divided by 49 is equal to 2 ok so your gram equivalent of solute is 2 ok then you just substitute this in your normality formula this is your third step so normality is equal to gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter so gram equivalent of solute is 2 ok divided by volume of solution in letter okay so they have given that 98 gram of sulfuric acid or dissolved in water to prepare one liter of solution so the volume of solution in letter is one so the normality of the solution is two so if you know these three formulas then you can easily calculate the normality of the solution okay then you should know to calculate molecular weight then valence okay okay next we will calculate molarity of the solution so molarity is equal to gram moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter so first we have to calculate gram moles of solute okay so gram moles of solute is equal to weight of solute in gram divided by molecular weight in the problem they have given 98 grams of sulfuric acid so this is your weight of solute so weight of solute in gram is 98 and we know that molecular weight of H2SO4 is also 98 so gram moles of solute is 1 okay so molarity is equal to gram moles of solute that is gram moles of solute is 1 1 divided by volume of solution in liter so problem they have given 1 liter of solution volume of solution is also 1 so molarity is equal to 1 problem number two find grams of hcl needed to prepare one liter to normal hcl solution okay here they have given normality as two and they are asking grams of hcl needed to prepare one liter to normality so hcl solution okay so let's write the given data that is your normality is two and your volume of solution is one liter so the formula to calculate the weight okay that is concentration in grams per liter okay so weight of your hcl per one liter is equal to your normality into equivalent weight so the formula to calculate the concentration that is gram per liter is equal to normality into equivalent weight okay so normality they have given it as two we have to find out the equivalent weight okay the formula to calculate equivalent weight is molecular weight divided by valence okay so we have to calculate equivalent weight of hcl we know that molecular weight of hcl is 36.5 divided by valence of hcl hcl dissociates into h plus plus cl minus so one molecule of hcl 
dissociates and it gives one atom of H plus. So here valence is one. Okay. So equivalent weight is equal to thirty six point five. Okay. So the concentration in gram per liter. Okay. Is equal to normality into equivalent weight. So in the problem they have given normality as two, and we calculated equivalent weight as thirty six point five. Okay. So the answer is seventy three gram per liter. That is, you have to dissolve seventy three grams of HCl in one liter of solution to prepare to normality HCl. Okay. Problem number three: The concentration of aqueous solution of acetic acid is specified as thirty percentage on weight basis. Find the molality of the solution. Okay. So here they have given the data in weight basis. That is, they have given thirty percentage acetic. Acid. So we have to assume the quantity of solution. If they have not given directly the quantity of solution, then we have to assume. Okay. So just assume. So they have given in percentage. So hundred kg of solution. So just assume. Take a base as hundred kg of solution. So in this hundred kg of solution, you have thirty kg acetic acid. Okay, so weight of acetic acid is thirty kg. For mining seventy kg is your solvent. Seventy kg solvent and thirty kg were solute acetic acid. You so get the hundred kg of solution. So next step is write the molality formula. The formula to calculate molality is gram moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kg. Okay. So here mass of solvent in kg is given. Okay, that is seventy kg. So we have to calculate gram moles of solute. Okay. So the formula to calculate gram moles of solute is gram moles of solute is equal to weight of solute in gram divided by molecular weight of solute. So weight of solute in gram is so your solute is acetic acid. So it is thirty kg. So unit should be in gram. So thirty kg. Is equal to thirty into ten power three gram. Then molecular weight of solute. So molecular weight of solute, your acetic acid is sixty. Okay. So molecular weight of acetic acid is sixty. So gram moles of solute is equal to weight of solute in gram. That is thirty into ten power three gram divided by molecular weight of solute is sixty. So this is equal to five hundred gram mole. Okay. Just substitute this gram moles of solute in this molality equation. We'll get the answer. Okay, so molality small m is equal to gram moles of solute. So gram moles of solute is 500 gram mole divided by mass of solvent in kg. So mass of solvent is 70 kg. So it should be in kg. Okay, so 70. 500 divided by 70 is equal to 7.142. This is your molality. Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos, please do subscribe and share.